Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. One thing that I have always been fascinated about when I see it in other people's planners is the year in pixels. It is one page where the entire 365 days of the year is laid out in super tiny boxes and people color in each box for each day to correspond with certain things that they are tracking. Some people track mood, energy levels, pain, and many different things. So many ideas are out there on Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube. And at the end of the year, it looks like a beautiful pixelated image. I decided to join in. I wanted to come up with something that pretty at the end of the incoming year, 2022. And I already made a template, as you can see here. This will be how each page will look like. It will have the same grid base that I use for my daily planner pages that you might have already seen on my channel. But for sure, I will link one video down in the description box so you can see what I am referring to. Later on, I will show you the actual finished pages and how I'm planning to fill them in. The aspects of my life that I want to track are exercise, sleep quality, journaling, writing fiction, anxiety, productivity, and social media. These are the things that I foresee dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis in 2022, and I want to be mindful of the quality of these. Now, crucial to the year in pixels is the color code. Each color should mean something, and I want to assign three colors for each category, preferably one color in three different shades from light to medium to dark. The darkest color or the most vibrant will represent the best quality or the highest quality. And the lightest color will represent the unfavorable or the bad quality or the low quality because I want the bad days to just not be too prominent. They're still there, but they're, they don't stand out. I want the good days to stand out, and that is what I'm thinking here. So I took out all of my old Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. These are not the dot pens that almost everyone has now. These are the older real brush pens that I have used for about two years when I was on the Hyperdex. I have videos about that and I will link them down below. And I have even put labels on the top of the cap of each brush pen because when they are in a pen cup upright, I cannot see what colors they are. I have a video as well of how I made these labels, which of course I will link down below. What I did is I really just went through what pens that I already had and I did have enough. Some color sets will be used for two different categories and that's fine. As long as I'm not confused and as long as the color representations are consistent, that's okay. And every time I decide on a color set, I write down the number of that color that's printed on the pen. And by the way, the paper here that I'm using with the brush pens is the Midori MD paper, which is designed for fountain pens and some wet media. I have a review of this paper, which I will link down below. I could also have used Elias paper for this, which also works with these pens, but I already use Elias paper on my journal. While as for this Midori MD paper, I have not used this in about two years or more, so I decided to put a few sheets to use now for this project. So when I have already decided on the colors for each category, I went ahead and encoded them onto each page for each aspect that I want to track. And here is how it printed on the Midori MD paper. Now the Midori MD paper is thin, just around 85 to 90 GSM. I am not sure, but it's thin. And because I am on the disc bound system, the discs need thicker or stiffer paper or else the papers will keep popping out of the discs. The disc bound usually requires at least 100 GSM paper. So for the base sheet, I am printing my grid base on this 120 GSM paper. This 120 GSM paper does not work with these brush pens. It doesn't even work with fountain pens. So that's a pity because I like the, the thickness of the paper. And that's why I am using this 120 GSM paper only as a base and not as the sheet where I will actually use the brush pens on. 
And after I have cut down both the base sheet and the actual tracking sheets down to size, I then adhered the two sheets together with a glue stick. Of course, the two papers have a different color, but I kind of like the two-tone look of the combination. It looks not ordinary. I can totally work with this. And then it is time to finalize the color key for each aspect. As you can see, I have a space for the color key at the bottom of each page. And after that is done, there is the hole punching. Finally, here are my finished pages for the year in pixels. Here's my page for productivity. The first letters of each month are right here across the top and the days are over here in this column from 1 to 31. Of course, some days will have only 30 days and February will have 28. At the bottom is my color key. If I had a very high productivity for the day, I will use the darker green, which is number 400. If productivity is mm, acceptable, I will use the green, which is number 40. And if I was not very productive, I will use the light green, which is number 41. Again, the better outcome will be marked by the darker or the more vibrant color so that it will stand out more. Emphasize the positive and the good. It doesn't mean the bad doesn't exist. The bad will literally still be on here, but the attention will not be on the bad. It will be on the good. Here is the page for journaling. If the journaling for the day was good, insightful, it's orange. If it's meh, <laughs> I literally put meh there. Just me narrating what happens, it's light orange. And if it's a stressed kind of journaling or if I journal to relieve my stress and I still end up stressed, it will be yellow. Anxiety has the same principle. Calm is orange, anxious is light orange, and agitated or panicked is yellow. Same principle for sleep quality. Dark blue for good sleep, blue for okay, and light blue for not very good sleep quality. I actually sleep, I actually pretty much get 8 to 10 hours of sleep a day, but it's reversed. Instead of sleeping at night, I sleep during the daytime. It's weird, but as long as I get good sleep quality, my doctor says, mm, that's normal. <laughs> normal for me. And for exercise, the dark blue will represent the one hour exercise. Blue is 30 minutes of exercise and light blue for five minutes of exercise. Because you know, when I have no time or have very low energy, I still want to get a move on. So I follow one of those five minute exercises on YouTube. That's the plan. As for writing fiction, it's very arbitrary. <laughs> dark green means I wrote a lot. Green means so-so and light blue means I wrote only a little bit. And finally, for social media, the vibrant purple color is for when social media was supportive and helpful on that day. The violet is for when it was stressful to be on social media. And the light violet is when there are conflicts on my social media. I'm on social media a lot because I am a YouTuber. I interact on YouTube a lot. And on Facebook, I'm also a member of so many planner-related groups and so many um, paper and uh, pen related groups. I am also on Reddit and also on Instagram and I want to start utilizing my Pinterest again. I want to be able to assess the quality of my interactions on all of these platforms. And those will be the pages for my year in pixels that I'm going to be using for 2022. I am excited to use these starting in January which is only like 30 days away. I'm still finalizing my setup of my planner for 2022, but that video will be coming up soon, I promise. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you will get an alert as soon as that video is up. And by the way, this travel cover on my planner is something that I made from a snap envelope and it's working so, so well for me. I have a tutorial on my channel, which I will link down below. And that's my video for you today. Do you use a year in pixels? How are you liking it? What are the things that you track? Let's talk in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.